Training spray painters to use modern paints can be a long and expensive process. Paints can vary significantly in how they must be applied to a surface, forcing spray painters to be adept at changing their spray gun settings and application techniques. The system introduced here makes use of tracked virtual reality head goggles and a tracked input device to simulate the painting process. The system is designed to provide a realistic spray painting experience, as well as feedback on user performance to aid in training and design of spray paints. This can lower the time required to train professional painters, as well as provide a big savings in paint costs while training. Our spray paint simulation makes use of ray casting to simulate paint particles, as well as splatting to simulate paint particles striking the surface of the object. When a particle of paint lands on the surface of the object, the amount of paint stored in the particle is transferred to the object and stored in a density map. As the simulation progresses, paint is built up in this density map and displayed back to the user. Our system provides two different output modes, a photorealistic display, as well as a non-photorealistic mode that displays the paint thickness as a hot-cold visualization. The photorealistic display shows the paint as it would look after it had dried, complete with environment-based lighting. As the paint session progresses, spots which have been overpainted are clearly highlighted to the user. In addition, several useful statistics are shown back to the user at all times, including distance of the gun to the object, percentage of paint properly applied, as well as percentage that is too thick, and overspray, which is the amount of paint lost in the environment due to paint missing the object. Our system also allows the user to alter the settings of the virtual spray gun, as well as the paint that is being applied. These settings include paint flow rate, air to paint ratio, paint viscosity, and the fan settings on the paint gun. Here, we illustrate the difference between having a high air to paint ratio versus a low one with the amount of paint sprayed per time remaining the same between the two. The high AP setting causes significantly more overspray due to evaporation, causing the object to have a very thin coating of paint, as opposed to the normal air pressure setting shown on the right. Finally, we have performed several controlled user tests on the system to validate its usefulness as a training tool. Here, we show an expert spray painter in the field spray painting a test panel. Using a magnetic tracking system, we track the painter's precise movements while painting the panel. This data was then used to replicate the spray setup in our virtual system and compare the similarity between the expert spray painters painting in the field with real paint and the expert painters using the virtual system. We found that painters were very similar in both technique and quality of their spray application in both environments. In addition to this testing, we also tested the ability of expert and amateur painters to use the virtual system. Here, we show one of the expert painters painting a test panel. In addition to a flat test panel, we also had painters spray more complex objects, such as a motorcycle body and car hood. As expected, expert spray painters outperformed amateur ones when using the virtual system, showing a high correlation between real spray painting ability and the ability to paint properly using the virtual system.